Right, so, uh, we're in the Lighthouse Israelites, okay, our brother Abiel, right? We got, a lot of our brothers been coming out here to wake up the lost sheep of the house of Israel and also to tell these heathens their judgment and That's tell them right. that the Most High God doesn't love them, That's okay? Right. So in these last days, this is what we're commanded to do. Give me that, King. That's the right. book of Proverbs, chapter 1 and verse 20. Bring it yeah. up. Wisdom cries without. She utter her voice in the street. Right, so wisdom has told us to come out here in the street. It says wisdom crieth without. Wisdom is outside. It's not in your churches on Sunday. Right. Okay? You got to come in here to prophets where the prophets may be while you have time. Read. She crieth in the chief place of concord. So the, so the Bible told us, the Most High God told us to come cry in the chief place of concord. Okay? And give everybody their judgment and plant seeds. Read. In the openings of the gates. Right. In the city she uttered her words saying. What did she say? How long? How long? Okay. How long? Read. Ye simple ones. You stupid people. That's right? right. That's, That's all right. my brother was up here tearing y'all a new one. Because he ain't dealing with that stupid spirit. Right. At all. Okay. That's right. You so-called white people walking around on stolen land. Right? Man made religions. False gods. So how long are you going to be stupid? Read. Come on. You love simplicity. See, and you love simplicity, okay? You love simplicity. You love stupid stuff like the LGP flag. You think Christ is white, okay? Shalom, brother. You know your nationality? You know your nationality? Mm. Do you believe in the Bible? Did you know that our nationality is found in the Bible? Hold on, slow down, brother. You got a minute? You got a minute? No? Boy, in these last days, brother, you got to repent, keep the commandments. True, right? As a Jew, you know you the real Jew, right? True. true. You knew we the real Jew? If you know why you ain't been keeping the commandment. Right! Where's your fringes at, brother? Get your Where's your fringes? You see, he loves simplicity. You simple ones, and, and the spirit bears witness. A brother walked by, he believe in God, he see all his brothers up there, he ain't even cares to stop. Them crackers been stopping. Mm. These Edomites been stopping. Okay? Right? Nobody's dealing with the little man made spirit. Oh. <laughs> the scorners delight in their scorners. See, and they be scorning. The Delorners delight in their scorners. Okay, brother, you've been going up and down, brother. What's your nationality? Are you a Sulimite? That's a religion. Are you an African? Come on, Ace Hood. You see yourself in the sign? Hold on, we teach you, brother. You see yourself in the sign? You see yourself in the sign? African what? Oh, kill us. <laughs> okay, he's delighting this garden. Man, bring me that, kid. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 58 and verse 1. Bring it out. Cry aloud. Do what? Cry, Cry aloud. aloud. Read. Spare not. See, we didn't come out here to spare you. The Bible says, spare not. Right? Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Read. And show my people their transgression. Right. So we've been come, told to come out here to teach the Bible, to teach the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, okay, their sins, their transgressions. We come out here to tear down lies, okay? He that are going into captivity, that's the truth. Esau's really red, he's not white. We're really the 12 tribes, okay? Any more on that? And the house of Jacob, their sins. Right, the house of Jacob, our sins, okay? Because you've been told that the laws of God are done away with. Right. Right? Read that, King. The book of Acts, chapter 3, and verse 19. Read it up. Repent, ye therefore, and be converted. Right? Be, repent and be converted. What does it mean to convert? Okay, what is that? What is that? Proverbs 17 and 9. Read that from the top. The book of Acts, chapter 3, and verse 19. Read. Yeah. Repent, ye therefore. So, brother, you got to repent. Are you so called Mexican? I'm Mexican American, and I am a believer in Jesus Christ. Okay, brother. Okay, that's good. So, you see, so look, look right here. Mexican, you will be from the tribe of Issachar. Make them up, King. Okay? Did you know that we are the real Jews according to the Bible? We're the real Israelites. Yeah. Right? The so called white man who calls himself Jewish. He's not the real Jew. 
They stole our nationality. We are actually God's chosen people, That's black and brown people. Okay, so you said you do believe in Jesus Christ, right? What does he look like according to the Bible? Does he look like this man right here? Is this Jesus the Christ according to the Bible? Right, so why do we see this everywhere we go? Give me Job 9 and 24. That's right. That's just in the, that's just in the form of the image of man. This is the book of Job. So that's what they picture him to be. Say what? That's what they picture him to be. That's what, who, who is the they that picture this? That is a good question. I don't know who the they is. But... Did the Asian people picture this? No. Did, did Samoans picture this? Not at all. Did, so who pictured it? Who's in the picture? White people, come on, man. Don't be afraid to say white people. That's right. Come on, okay. come on. This is the book of Job, chapter 9 and verse 24. The, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. You know, the Bible says that the earth was given into the hand of the wicked, right? The earth, that means they have the ability, the authority to establish things since it was given into their hand. Read. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. See, the wicked, he covered the faces of the judges. The real judges in the Bible are black and brown people, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. But there's been a man who the earth was given in, in his hand, and he went and covered the faces of the real judges. Read. If not, if not, if, if the wicked isn't given into this one man's hand, where and then who is he? Where and who is he? That's what I ask you. Is he an Asian? No. Is it a Samoan? It's the so-called white man. He's the wicked that covered the face. That's right. That's why, that's why we got this image. Did you know this is a real man? This was a real man. His name was Caesar Borgia. He was the Pope Alexander's son. And once they once they killed the real Christians, they started lying on the Bible. One of those big lies, brother. They changed the true image of Jesus Christ into the white man. Okay? That's why we got this image. He covered the faces of the true judges. And I'm going to prove it to you out the Bible. Flip that around for me. Somebody hold that, turn that and flip that around for me. I'm gonna prove it to you out the Bible. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna do something called process of elimination. Okay? Yeah. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, What's verse 14. What's the brother? His head and his hair were white like wool. So the Bible describes Jesus the Christ as his hair was white like wool, okay? When we look at all the images of the so-called fake Jesus, who was really Caesar Borgia, we never see Jesus the Christ with white, woolly hair. Woolly right. is a texture, right? right? Like my brothers, this is woolly hair, brother. Okay, we always get this blonde, stringy lassie. Right, right. right? and it says, read, as white as snow. It was woolly and white. We never see the real, the, the image of Jesus with white woolly hair. We always get this, but that's white and woolly, right? right? Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes were as a flame of fire. If you look at this white boy, he got blue eyes all the time. Right. He got blue eyes, okay? This brother right here got red eyes, uh, right? He, right? They right. called him a wine bibber. That's because he drank wine in moderation. And just like you and all these brothers, if we sip a little bit, the whites of our eyes turn red. Read. And his feet. And his feet, brother. So now John the Revelator looks at Jesus Christ's feet. The top of his feet are the same color as the rest of his body, just like yours, right? So he looks at his feet. Read. Like unto the fine brass. Like unto fine brass, brother. Right? Jesus Christ has said like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Brown. Brown. Read. As if. As if. It, it, was, it was as if. So he's about to describe it, right? They burnt in a furnace. So he was so dark, it looked like he was burned in a furnace. If you take anything and put it in a furnace and it comes out burned, it's charcoal. So this guy's out of here. That's right. Who is this guy, okay? Right. This is the false image. Right. That's what he looks like more according to the Bible, brother. Now, we're not saying that's him. No. It's just a description because the enemies... Our enemies, the so-called Caucasian race, That's right. after they conquered us, they told us that this is Jesus the Christ. Are you your enemy? According to the Bible, yes. And according to what you've done to our nation, yes. That's right. I didn't do anything. You did. Give me Isaiah 14 and 21. This is the book of Isaiah. Yes, sir, brother. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14 and verse 21. Look it up. 
What did I do? You're about to this find out. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14 and verse 21. Bring it out. Prepare slaughter. No, prepare a feast. Prepare, prepare slaughter. slaughter. Right, Reed? For his children. See, you're the children of your ancestors, Reed. For the iniquity of their fathers. See, you didn't do nothing, but because of your ancestors, your the founding fathers, because of them and what they have done, they ran out on the tab on you. They sat down, they ate, they stole the land from the Native Americans, they enslaved the blacks, and then they ran out on the tab and left you here to get your judgment. So and because of what your nation has done, you get to walk around on stolen land. You get to build up buildings. You get to make yachts and all this. This is because of your forefathers so you reap the benefits. And just like our ancestors broke God's commandments and went into and we went into captivity under your your forefathers did what they do, so you gotta pay for your forefathers. Yeah. That the land that they do not rise nor possess the land. See, you guys possess the land now, but we're about to prepare a slaughter for you. Nor okay. feel the need for your nation. When when Jesus the Christ makes his second coming, you guys are going into captivity. You had your fun. This is your kingdom. This is your heaven, and this is our hell. I'm listening. I mean, I'm, I'm give, a, me, give me give me give uh, me second Ezra. What was, what was your hope? Give me second Ezra six. I, I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm six actually six. a I'm a world. high school history teacher. I'm actually listening. I'm listening. Okay, okay. So listen I'm to this. Listening. So listen to this. Flip that over for me. Salakia, I'm just wondering why you have an Aztec glyph on your arm. I admit I was drunk. So I was on the way to Iraq. I was with a bunch of soldiers. And I was so how do you feel about this? Well, of course I feel horribly. So what should be done to the people that did this? To those people, to our people? What should be done to those people that did that? To the people who did that? Well, of course they should be in prison. So and because there's no uh but I'm there's, saying, there's I no didn't, I didn't do that. My ancestors are Irish. They keep working on the Irish potato family. My, my ancestors are Irish. They keep working on the Irish potato family. Listen, every nation has played a part. Can I say something? No, because you're lying. Every nation I'm has not played a part. My ancestors are Listen. Irish. My ancestors came over during the Irish. Every potato nation family. played a part in the captivity of the children of Israel. You know what that brother? The world, the book of second address. I'm listening to what God Okay, so listen to some history. Listen for, to a prophet. For Esau, the end of the world. See, go, go, go a little bit more than where, where he talks about uh, where he actually goes. Started like six. Yeah, six. Book of second address, chapter six and verse six. Read. Then did I consider these things, and they all were made through me alone, and through none other. By me also they shall be ended. And by none other. That, then answer I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the time? So listen to this. Ima imagine this too. If you were talking to an angel, right, from heaven, this is Ezra, he's talking to an angel. He's asking him, What is going to be the sign of the times at the end of the world? Okay? You want to know that too, right? Like, oh, you're brother, you know the beginning and the end. Well, when is the world going to end? Read. Or when shall be the end of the first? End of the first, meaning of this world. Read. And the beginning of it that follow. Uh-huh. And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him. When Jacob, who had the twelve, read. Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. Right. You know anything about the Bible? Like, I do. Okay, well, go ahead. For Esau. For Esau, that's the Caucasian race. That it doesn't matter because you all, all you people, whether you're Irish, whether you're Portuguese, whether it don't matter what part of the land mass you're on, because you guys migrated there, you all go back to one man because right. the man is the is the progenitor. He has the seed, and that's how you create a nation from that man's seed. Right. So your nation, your whole entire nation, no matter where you're from, like Dude, I said, you go back to Esau. So read that again. For Esau, for Esau, you so-called white people that rule the world now because the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. It's the end of the world. Esau, you people are the last ruling empire on the earth. There'll be no the Chinese aren't gonna rise up after this war. After World War III, there's no Chinese rising up. After World War III. Well, yes, come on, this is called Armageddon. You know World War III is growing. You know your nation is on the brink of destruction. Free. Free! And Jacob and Jacob, the twelve tribes of Israel, okay. Esau is the end of the world, read. And Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. See, baby, when Christ comes back, it's all. 
Are you okay? I'm just curious. Okay. Are, are you uh, a follower of Elijah Muhammad? We're not dealing with Muslim up here. We're not dealing with Allah. We're dealing with the one true most high God, Yahweh, of the Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right. The one true power of heaven and earth who created everything and who created Yahweh Shai of Mashiach, That's the right. black Messiah. Jesus That's the right. Christ is the black man, okay? I, was you, when you, you were standing here when we established yeah. that your people I put this under you. You know why your people did this? No, I agree. Listen, I agree that Jesus is a volunteer of blue eye. I spent time in Iraq myself. I know that Jesus probably would have looked, you know, Middle Eastern. No, no, no. That's where he's no. from. He's from the Middle East. Let's read that. Give me that Middle West. Where's the Middle West? Where's the Middle North? Where's the Middle South? Come up here speaking loud. Let me get a book of Revelation. Listen, so, me, my wife is calling me. I gotta go. I know, it's because women run the household in white men's house, so get up the street. Right? She's separate from hell. She's an Israelite. You're undersigned. She's separate from hell. I'm not a bad guy, man. I'm not. I'm listening with respect. Gotta separate the water. Well, white man is a goddamn devil. Drop the Bible. Give me Luke, give me Luke power 16 when Christ came in and read the scripture. And then give me that one word. No such thing as white, pale, pale, pale. Give me Isaiah 61. All right, all so all right, we all right. are the I Israelites. We come out here to teach our people the truth of the Bible that's been hidden in the earth, right? We are the hidden ones, as it says, is the book of Psalms, okay? We are the ones who they call black identity extremists because we come out here and we say we are the real Jews, that the Most High God loves the 12 tribes and he doesn't love everybody. Did you know Jesus does not love everybody? Yeah. If you can prove it, hey, hey Rick, you said he don't, or do it. Jesus don't love everybody, especially y'all. That's right. Read that, King. The book of Luke, chapter 4, verse 16. So what we're going to go into is... What's up, brother? Come on, brother. You see yourself on this sign, King? Yeah, I was looking at it. You see yourself on this sign, King? Say one more time. Can you see yourself like your nationality? Do you call yourself an American black? Jamaican, Haitian, Puerto Rican, Cuban, so-called Native American. What's your I was going to say I'm American black. Okay. Judah, yeah, I can take Judah, oh, you said that right, too. Yeah, man. You sounded right. So why, yeah, do, do, why, do we, why do we call her, what's your, what's your nationality? Mexican. Mexican, okay. Oh, so he's he's like, you were right the there, too. Look, you ain't got you a sister. This a car. That's right. Yeah. You ain't got you a sister. Come on, man. That was God. That was God. <laughs> That was him, okay. that was him. Let me ask you something, that was him. Give me Deuteronomy 2846. Why, why do we call ourselves American black? Why do we call ourselves Mexican? Give me Deuteronomy 26. 28 and 46. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 46. Read. Talk and, about it. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. So brother, listen, the real 12 tribes of Israel, we went into captivity for breaking the commandments that Moses gave us, okay? And and the most I told us that certain things would happen to us as a as a as a uh, pointing you know as something that you can verify right, right. later on in the future who the Jews are okay and okay. Read, so read some this is why we call ourselves these names read and they shall be upon thee for a sign these curses are, shall be upon us for a sign just how right I got a sign when you when you see the the, the swoosh right that's a sign when you see that swoosh what does that represent. They were the Nike. Nike. So when you see these curses, they're a sign it's gonna represent Israel. Read. And for a wonder. And for a wonder, people gonna wonder who the real Israelites are, who the real Jews are, okay? And upon thy seed. And upon thy seed and upon the Israelites. Forever. For how long? Forever. forever. So that's why when I ask you, brother, why, why, what's your nationality? And you hit me with this is because we're under the curses of Deuteronomy for breaking God's commandment. Now let me give me, let me further explain that in 37. Start at once. Look at Deuteronomy. Huh? You got a few minutes, right? I got a few minutes. All praise. All praise. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 1. Read. And it shall come to pass. 
thou shalt hearken diligently. So Moses is telling the Israelites, if y'all listen diligently, right? That means uh, 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 I need your undivided attention. Okay, really? absolutely. Unto right. the voice of the Lord thy God to observe in all his commandments. To do all his commandments. Which I command thee this day. That the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So when we obey the Most High God, brother, we will set on high above all nations. We can see that with King David, right? Who was a warrior king who ruled over all known nations back then. We can see that with King Solomon, who was the wisest and the richest man, okay? And these are black men. He was the most wisest. I said the wisest and the richest man. Yeah. I said the wisest and the richest man. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. 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 Go ahead and let know. So those are, those are the blessings, right, that we will insert. Look at 15 now. Verse 15. Right. It shall come to pass. But but this, now this is on the other hand. It was like an ultimatum. On one hand, if y'all do what I say to you, you Israelites, bless it. But the reward will come when you do what I'm telling you to do. That's right. Now that's, that's when the I'm, reward happens. Right. right. Because it's like a full time. It's like a pro. It's like pro time. Okay. So it's like if you do this, like if I tell my, my, my kids, hey, if you do this, then therefore you're going to get this. Right. But if you don't do this, then you're not going to get this. That's what our father but consequences that's come when you don't do this stuff. Right. Right. Let me get into those consequences, brother. That's why you call yourself American Black. That's a consequence. Well, that's what they call it. I know, but I'm a, I so know. Therefore, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. We used to call ourselves American Black. Oh, yeah. But it should come to pass. But, it, but this shall happen. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Don't listen, you Israelites. To observe to do all his commandments. And his statute which I command thee this day. Uh -huh. That all these curses. All these what? All, all these curses. curses right, read. Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So, brother. If you, you know anything, you said you were a priest, so you know that the Israelites didn't oh, obey. They didn't obey the Most High God. They kept going into captivity after captivity. Absolutely. Isaiah, Ezekiel, Jeremiah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Daniel. Yeah. Those are prophets in captivity. Absolutely. Okay. So now, so and, look, yeah. those it kept going. What you holding for me? Uh, this is the Book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-eight, verse thirty-seven. Read. And thou shalt become an astonishment. So that so so this is a, one of the curses, brother. <laughs> The, the, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans shall become an astonishment. The astonishment that's is like right. wow. That's like wow. Yeah. That's, that's what. Crazy, that's how right. these other nations think when they see the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans so in the like, ghetto. They say yeah. wow, sagging and all that stuff. Right. Yeah. We're an astonishment. Wow. And, and thou shall become an astonishment. A proverb. A proverb. See, a proverb is a wise saying. Absolutely. Right. You got the book of proverbs, yeah. a wise yeah. tale. But now, uh, uh, the proverb that the so-called white men say now is, how do you kill a a thousand niggas throw a biscuit off a cliff. And how do you how do you hide a brother's check from him? Put him in his work boot because he ain't putting on his work boots anyways. These are these are disrespectful proverbs to us now. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. A proverb and a byword. Byword is, is is just something they throw you. You're being called outside your God given name. So this is right. So brother, now start. Give me give me Deuteronomy. One and one. I hey, want to. Hey, hey, let me ask you this, though. Let me ask you this. I know that you're, you're doing a lot of Old Testament. So, what you want me to do? So, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Okay, so. So, I mean, because, honestly, the purpose, so, so, but the purpose of him coming was because this is law. There is no way in the world anybody would be able to. To do it to God's. I it, thought we could do it, all it. things through Christ. No, 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 no. Yeah, no. That's why Romans happens, where it says that all men have said it comes short. So does come that mean short. we don't even stretch out? For that? No, 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 no. This is the short. That, that, that means that because we can't do it. That means no. we can't do it. You can't keep because no law. Of our flesh. Because, you can't keep the because of our flesh, bro. Our, 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 our flesh. I will say that. Yes, I, I, understand, I understand what you're preaching is Christianity. Do you know no, that? no, no, no. What I'm yes, preaching, what preaching is, is Christianity. Okay, brother. so tell me this. Let me tell me this. Are you perfect? I try to be. No, no, no. I can ask you a question. That's yes or no. Are you perfect? I try to be. No, no, no. That's yes or no. Are you, are you perfect? I know. I'm not perfect. I'm going to tell you why. 
is because when I'm trying to I'm perfect, how? Right. The Bible says, the, uh, 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 thy righteousness is everlasting righteousness and thy law is the truth. It also says that the law is, the law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The the test of, shut the fuck up, you ask a question, I promise I'm gonna be nice. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. Absolutely. The testimony of the Lord is sure, converting the, the simple. What does that mean? If I keep the law, such commandments, I'm perfect, bitch, and I keep all 613. Psalms keep talking, motherfucker. Psalms 19, look, 7. Look at Matthew chapter 5 and verse 48. Be ye therefore perfect. Be ye perfect. Even, what did Christ tell us to do? Be ye therefore, therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. So since Christ still can't do it. Mm -hmm. Those are two mm -hmm. but yet it also says that. So I feel what you say. I feel what you say. And it also says that our sins are hidden in Christ. So I feel what you say. I feel what you say. I'm going to hear this because I got to catch up. I got to catch up with my wife. Okay, for sure. I'm going to hit you. Man, I can't wait. I'm going to hit you with a couple more. I don't think you're going to hit you with a couple more. I don't think you're going to hit the book of Romans, chapter 7 and verse 14. For we know that the law is spiritual. No, the law is carnal. The, the law, law is spiritual. spiritual. The law is spiritual. This is New Testament. Right. Right. Where are you reading from? Romans. The book of Romans, chapter 7 and verse 14. Right. Right. For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, sold under sin. And, and honestly, I feel you on that because I never said that the law was. But the thing is, I was just saying is, is that it's hard for us to live up to the law. What's the last? What, what, what laws can't you keep? Name one. 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 Okay, you, man. I gotta catch up with my wife. I can talk to you guys all day. But he that is spiritual, but he that is spiritual judges all things. Wow. Okay, and how do you judge, brother? Huh? How, how are we supposed to judge? He that is spiritual. If the hey, law is, I ain't gonna lie. I'm kind of nervous oh, no. to even debate with you because. I really don't want him to come up and whoop my ass. <laughs> hey, look, look, look. Hey, hey. I ain't lying, you're not. Abiel, I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of like, just kind of like, okay, I can take it. I'm with whatever. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I ain't going to lie. Yeah, I'm, I'm cool. I didn't want my brother to say that he was going to show me what you can do. No, 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 no. Like, be no, I wasn't, I wasn't trying. It was just my opinion because I didn't know who it was. And, and, and I wasn't trying to disrupt nothing, man. I promise you. I this is what you were saying right here. Listen to this. Say you love God. I mean, I'm, 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 Words don't express how much I love. Say it's hard to speak the law. John chapter 5, verse 3. For this is the love of God. So this is the love of God. That we keep his commandments. Right. What is the love of God? Okay, okay, verse 3. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous. Now, I gotta remember that shit. That's what I'm saying. I just said, I gotta remember that shit. That's what I'm saying. Man, I, I gotta catch up with my wife, but can you okay, run away with this one? Run away with this one. I really gotta catch up with my wife. Let me hear that. Let me hear that. Let me hear that. Let me hear that. Chapter 2 and verse 4. Free. He that God, says, God. I know him. Did you say you know the most high God? I I, love, I want to know more. That's what I'm saying. Okay, well, this is right. He that said I know him and keep not his commandments is a liar. What is the guy that said I know him but don't keep his commandments? Is a liar. liar. See that, brother? You got to be a true. It's all in that book. All I'm saying is and I want to know more. That's all I'm not saying. In him. And the truth is not in you, brother. I feel it, so man. So we can't keep the commandments, brother. I okay? feel it, man. Hey. So listen though, brother. I appreciate. We are the real Jews. You're you're an Israelite according to the Bible. Okay, not by not by faith, not by spiritual, not by conversion. You were born an Israelite. We all are Israelites. We are the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. We lost our nationality because we broke the Most High God's commandment that Moses gave us. But in these last days, this same book that was lied to us and say we don't got to keep the commandments and Jesus is right. This same book. We're realizing that we do have to keep the commandments and that we are the real, you're the Jew. Kanye said it, that you're the Jew. Kyrie said it, you're the Jew. The Bible said it, you're the Jew, brother. That's right, brother.
Shalom, brother. Shalom. Shalom. Peace. What tribe you from, brother? I'm from Judah, man. Judah! 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 Hey, you sisters know your nationality? King. 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 He said something we, we, that was Old Testament. We're going to read because Yahweh Shai was a, if he, he was he was the living word. That's right. So everything he said, we can find it in the Bible, right? Somewhere where other, other, other prophets said it. You know your nationality, brother? Okay. okay. Yeah, Esau, enjoy your ice cream because it's captivity later. That's right. That's right. The book of Luke, chapter 4, and verse 16. Read. And he came to Nazareth. Where he had been brought up. And as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for the read. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. Whoa, so Yahweh Shai is going to read from the book of Isaiah. Read. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written. Uh huh. What, was, where, what did it say? The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. So he's in the Spirit. Read. Because he have anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. To the who? To, to the, the poor. poor. To the poor, okay? Not not to the Romans, not to not to uh the you feel me, the Pharisees, of course you had the Israelites, but to the poor, read. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. That's read. Right. So who's the brokenhearted in the hood, right? Who 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 got more strife? Who's the first? Fire last hire. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's Who right. has more grief in all 50 states across this wicked ass Babylon place? Okay? Christ said, start there from the top one more time, King Salaki. From, from what it said, uh, yeah, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. To, yeah. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Right, read. Because he have anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. The gospel is supposed to be preached to the poor. Gospel, the good news, read. Right. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. Right, so it's you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that are in these slums scattered across Babylon. You're the brokenhearted. To preach deliverance to the captives. Who are the captives? Who's still in captivity? Are we not in the land of our enemy? <laughs> okay. <laughs> are we not in captivity? Okay, we walk around the hell. Bring it out, Doc. And recovering of the sight to the blind. Right. To we set or select it real quick because with eyes we don't see, right? Even in this Babylon, we think. Huh? Hey, say, brother, you gotta repent, brother. You gotta stop uh -huh. on hands with your enemy, and you gotta put it in a woman. Oh! oh no, go jump in the lake. Go jump in the lake. See the most high God's not dealing with sodomites. Okay? You see? So it's because Edomites rule, it's because white people rule, he can kiss my brother. That's crazy. That's madness. <laughs> That's my brother he gave. That's an Israelite. He better repent. <laughs> okay? He said at liberty them that are bruised. Right. To preach the accepted acceptable year of the Lord. To preach the acceptable year of the Lord. So this is the acceptable year of the Lord right now. Read that. So look, Yahweh Shai, like I said, he's quoting. Let's see why in the New Testament is he old, so-called Old Testament quoting, but in the New, you guys say the gospel is for everybody. Let's get the full understanding of that. He's not dealing with the breakdancing spirit. That's right. 61 from the top. Hold he's, on, the, hold on. he's not he's not dealing with the back street with the black street back door boy. He's not dealing with that, bro. You see the demons come out. The demons with that back street back door boy. Okay? <laughs> this is a book! <laughs> My niggas is bugged out. Give me that Deuteronomy 28, 28. This is a book. This is a book of Isaiah, chapter 61 for the top. Bring it out. 
the spirit of the Lord, the spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Right, didn't you how shall I say the spirit of the Lord is upon me? I told you he was in the spirit. Read. Because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings. Good tidings, that's gospel. He's called, he said, over here in the new, he said gospel, good tidings. He's quoting Isaiah, read. Unto the meek. Unto the meek and to the obedient. He has sent me to the but so like he has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. Hold on, sis. You see yourself on this? Oh yeah, I'll be there. I'm familiar with God's God. You you familiar like you know you're an Israelite? Okay, when he was speaking in um, Luke 4, 16 through 18, he said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. He's quoting Isaiah. But once we get the full context, you see the reason he didn't have to break it down in Luke is because he was in a synagogue speaking to men who knew the Bible or they knew the scriptures. So he didn't have to say in Zion. Read that. Read that three from the top. From the top. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. You see that? Read. To give unto them beauty for ashes. Right. The oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Okay. Sit on that. Come. Give me Isaiah 52. Or 52 or 53, put it on that holy garment. Read that, King. The book so, of Isaiah. So, so, like so Yahweh Shai said he comes to set at liberty those that be captive. Right? That's you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Shalom, brother. What's your nationality? Hola. Amigo. Yeah. Senor. Amigo. Oh, he's Indian. He might not speak. Right. Jesus as Cristo as Negro. No Blanco. Come on. Read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 42, verse 22. Read. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. Who is more robbed and spoiled? Spoiled means for your goods, too. Who's more robbed and spoiled than the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? You so called. White people got my brother like this, and because we're spoiled, we're robbed. He got robbed of his sense. Right. I said you got robbed of your sense. I got robbed of my sense. I, 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 think, you're, I think you're mistaken. Oh, walk down that bridge. Come. You believe in the Bible? Yes, I do. Come on, Isaiah 42, verse 28. Read. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. Brother, that's the yeah. somewhere there, brother. 
Are you aware that Jesus said, uh, judge, uh, less, judge not less than you judge? Is that a yes or a no? Because if you're not, if you're not, you say you with me, then like, I, I'll walk away. But like, if you're, like, if we're going to do this, we got to do this respect, brother. Are we going to have a conversation? I would like to. Okay. So didn't he say with the same judgment you mean, you shall be judged by that? That same judgment? I, I believe it's something along those lines, well, depending on which translation. Like huh? I don't twist the Torah like that in the public. What does that have to do? Okay. Because so, you're a man. That's, that's effeminate. Right. Okay. You're a man, brother. Right. You're supposed to be a man. You're over there twerking. The most high God is not dealing with that twerking spirit. That's that right. That boy got your spirit. Okay? You're supposed to be up here with a full beard, standing like a man, dealing right. with women. I'm really sorry that you feel that way. I don't feel this way. The most I got, I do feel this way, and the Bible feel this way. That's right. Okay, bring okay. that up. The book of Proverbs, chapter 31, verse 9. Open my mouth. Have my See, Bible with me. The Bible told us I'm to open our mouth. I'm getting preached at right now, and I'm at an unfair. Gotta, you gotta, you gotta I'm at an unfair disadvantage. Does anybody have a copy of the bottom? I got him. Okay. I'm at an unfair disadvantage. Does anybody have a copy of the bottom? I got him. Okay. I'm at an unfair disadvantage. Does anybody have a copy of the bottom? I got him. I would like an actual physical copy of a Bible. Okay. You want to read along? You want to read along? All praise and all power. All right, son. He's our people. <laughs> all right, what, what scripture are we at? Proverbs 31 and 9. All right. It's highlighted. Highlighted here. Awesome. Proverbs chapter 31, verse 9. Open thy mouth, judge righteously, and plead the cause of the poor and needy. Mm. Judge so when I tell you to put a manly spirit on you, it's because if your dad is a so-called American black, okay, brother, is your dad a so-called American black man? My father is no longer um, in uh, among the living. Okay, well, what was his nationality? What, he, what was he? Uh, I believe he was African American. Okay, so listen, brother, you'll be from the tribe of Judah. That's right. And according to the Bible, if you're an Israelite, you're supposed you're commanded to keep God's commandments. With all due respect. This is one of the most racist things I've ever seen in my life. God is a racist. No, yeah, I'm not saying God is racist. I'm saying that this breakdown is racist to me. Why? Because no Caucasians are on it? Mm. Mm. You see, you can't yeah. love your oppressor. Because you can't love your oppressor. Pause. I'm 50% Caucasian, so it is you what it is. Your daddy. My black, no, my black dad didn't raise me. He was, no, he's been his he whole didn't raise fucking you, life still are chasing, him, chasing white women, okay? He didn't raise me. My white, the it's white side of my family raised me. But my problem right here, 18. my here's problem, here's problem right here is that to lump all Mexicans no, into one, all Me okay, to, to lump just the Aztecs, I, I find what that hard to believe. Means, brother? This, Listen, what this sign means is we know that the 12 tribes of Israel are scattered into these nations, okay? Not every Mexican in Mexico, no, but we know that there's Israelites in Mexico. We know that there's Israelites in Puerto Rico, in Haiti, in Cuba, okay, in Dominica. We know that there's Israelites in these places. Okay. There are Israelites all over the world, just That's like right. there are descendants of Genghis Khan Those aren't Israelites. The those aren't Israelites, though. Those are Somalians or Africa or something. They just brown like us. But those are those are Hamites. You see, there was three boys after the flood. Right? That's right. Shem, Ham, and Jaffe. From those three nations was the world we populated. And the ones that are brown like us, those are our cousins. They're Hamites, though. Okay, we're Shemites. We're Shemites, brother. What are you looking for? Give me that. Uh, what was, what was the Read that for me, little bro. This book of Leviticus is 19 and verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart, because they're not hating you right now. Brother, do you think we hate you up here? <laughs> I don't know. What's your I, name, brother? I hope not. My What's name. Your name? <laughs> the name I go by is Chip. So. Thou shalt in any rise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon you. Because See. if uh since you came over here, we can tell you of the offended spirit. Cause since you came over here, we can tell you have this sin and spirit right now. We're not judging you, we're rebuking you right now. So if when you said, oh, oh, you're judging me, this is not, and this is not, if you would, if we would have just let you go by, we would have suffered the blood on our hands of you just sitting there. So that's why we're rebuking you right now. You listen to me, brother? Brother, listen to me right now. So what we're doing right now, we're rebuking you right now. We're rebuking. Okay. So we're telling you to gird up your loins, cause we're in this last days. The Most High God is, is you're gonna you're gonna get nuked. I'm, I'm just gonna keep it that way. So gird up your loins and and listen to him and what what he's saying. Right. Oh, brother. Hey, brother. Uh, shit, I got another piece. I, I, 
even though I disagree with with your viewpoint, I I genuinely appreciate the spirit, like your intention. Okay. Told you it's okay to be a backdoor backstreet boy. Go ahead. Don't be deceived that that's okay because it's not okay. Neither a fornicator. See, a fornicator meaning a man who sleeps from woman to woman or a woman, whatever, you know, she might be the aggressor, she might be sleeping from man to man. Both ways. Neither fornicators, read. Nor idolaters. Nor idolaters. Some people worship money. Some people worship these certain things. But are, other you than with the, are you familiar what with the, the term the, condescending? Nor no, no, idolaters. Nor idolaters, read. Condescending. Adulterers. Nor adulterers. Hold on, King. Nor effeminate. Nor what? Nor effeminate. Nor what? Nor effeminate. What does effeminate mean? I can't mean? hear you. Can somebody say that, effeminate? Right yes. That's that right there, brother. That's not getting in the heaven. But that's what y'all just did to me. That's not getting in the heaven, brother. Precept this man. Somebody help this man. Look at 1 John 2 and verse 4. Because you obviously know the Bible. Because you, you, probably, you, probably, you know the Bible, right? What he's looking for. He, you're in the Bible, so you obviously know what the Bible is. This is the book of John. This is the book of 1 John 2 and verse 4. He that, he that saith, I know him. He that saith, I know him. He that saith, I know the most high God. Read. And keepeth not his commandments. Because one of the commandments. Is not being effeminate, right? Right, and you're being effeminate. It's a I don't know what you just did. Effeminate. That's why all the effeminates are in the Sunday church because that's where they lie to you and tell you come as you are, stay as you are, die as you are. Is a liar. Wicked. Is a liar. Now, brother, are you a liar? Because you're lying to yourself right now. Chip, calling you a, you a liar, female. brother Chip. Are you a liar, brother Chip? I do my very best to be a good Christian. If, and, 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 and if you're a Christian, to be, to be a Christian, you have to be black. Bring it up. Right? And you're black, right? And to be a Christian, you have to keep the You just say to be a Christian, you have to be black? Yes, that's right. that's, that's some racist shit. shit. That's facts. No, that's racist. racist. Right. Uh, uh, you're uh, telling uh, me, so you're telling me that, that half my family, half of my biological family is not eligible to be Christian? On your daddy's Yeah, no, they're not. They're, 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 they're set That'd to be destroyed. I can't with that. That's The half of your family is set to be destroyed. How do you feel about that? Um... That is like the opposite. Uh, well, it's it's actually basically. Well, it's, it's in the Bible, so you, you can you can you can talk to God about that. What are you looking for? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Prisa, Prisa. Hey, you said that this sign right here seemed racist to you, right? Chip, Chip, this is racist to you, Chip. The sign right here. I got a racist scripture for you. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all the people that are upon the face of the earth. Does it get more racist than that, Chip? I'm sorry. Could you, could you here, here, repeat I'll, that? I'll, I'll, no, I, just, I, I want to stay on the scripture. Where? where Deuteronomy. Okay. He never was in Deuteronomy. He was in Matthew. See that? See Deuteronomy. All praise to the Most High God. Right. Okay. Deuteronomy chapter seven, verse six. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto Himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Does it get more? That's it. That's it, that's it, Chip. That was all I needed you for. Nor choose you because you were more. No, no, he wants to read more. Than any people, for you were the fewest of all people. The next verse the The Lord did not set his love. Whoa. Because the Lord loved you and because he would get an oath, which he had sworn to your fathers, hath the Lord brought you out with mighty hands and received you out of the house of bondage, bondage from the from Pharaoh King of Egypt. It doesn't really get much more racist than that, Chip. 
when the Israelites, when we keep the commandments, we're in our right mind, bro, we're above all the white people, too, especially them. They're the basis of men. They're the lowest race. The reason they're the top because they're the most wicked, because they're the most evil, it's the most disgusting fornicator people, okay? Sleep with dogs, sleep with anything. They marry trees, they marry, uh, they, that's them, okay? Racism is available in every single country in the world. So if you can't read the doctrine, brother, then maybe it's not for you right, right now. Because the right. God we serve, he is a racist God because he only loves the people on the side. That's, That's right. right. As you just read. You can't deal with it, you got to deal with it, brother. Right. Saying that any race is one, any one race is well, better than the other ones or more deserving <laughs> than the other ones, that is by, that is racism. You just read it. So you've been told what it is, you can't be feminine. The most high God. He was more than told. He read it. Thessalonians 2 and 7. Bring it out. For this cause, Yahweh shall give them up to strong delusions strong that they delusion. should believe a lie. Huh. Uh, what lie do you think you believe in, brother? Chip? He's just reading the Bible now. Read. The book of Acts, chapter 3, and verse 19. Repent, he hey, therefore. The Bible told you to repent, Chip. How do you repent? What does it mean to repent? Right? Because you said you was a Christian. It just told you to repent. How do you repent? Chill. Chill. I need, I need my Bible, Chip. I see Chip every day by the 7-6. He has no idea. Now you can listen. Now you can listen. Repent. If I, if I can't hold on to the Bible, I'm going to push on. Let your sins may be blotted out. Repent, brother. Repent. 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 This is this is the truth that's been hidden from the earth. Come. That's right. Okay. If we were still dealing with what you're yeah, talking about, we would be over here beating your backup dancers. Bro. We'll be I know over there burning out all around you. the world. Okay. But you hold this is the book of Leviticus, chapter 18, and verse 22. Bring it out. God, let me get that. Salakia. Okay. Bring that thing out. 18 and verse 22. Read. Thou shalt not lie with mankind. You shall do not, you shall not what? Thou shalt not, not lie, lie with, with mankind. mankind. That's right. As with womankind, it is abomination. It's an abomination for two men to be laying to each other. It's, 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 it's you can't procreate, okay? We're done with you. I mean, I'm not done with you. You got a chance to repent, brother. But I'm done with you right now. That's I would invite you to come to church with me tomorrow, but I don't think you would. What do you feel, how do you feel about that law? You should not lie with the mankind as you as you please with the woman. How do you feel about that law from God? Tell us. We want to know. I, I want to know. That it's, it's not my favorite law. <laughs> you, is it right or wrong? Is, is, it, is it right or wrong? Well, is, it, is, it, is, it, is it right to do when God said Do you know don't? anything about translating languages? Hey, there was nothing lost in translation with this baby. Do you know that's anything right. about... There was nothing that? lost in... Go ahead. If, see, but that's what I'm saying. Hey, Shalom King, what's your nationality? How many languages do you speak? Nationality, brother. You know you're the real Jew. I only, I'm saying this. I'm, I, I only speak one language fluently, so I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to be condescending. I'm asking a, a straight up question. Okay, we're you, with the how many languages do you speak? Hey, we got, we got a dozen. Hey, hey, Esau. If you can prove God, Jesus like this in the Bible, hey, is this Jesus? But that don't have nothing to do with yes, the question I asked. Jesus. What language is the Bible written in? What Chip. what language is the Bible written in? We're done with Chip. Okay, if that's you're done, done with me, so go lie with mankind, go twirl your hips, get out of here. If you that's insist, right. get out of here. The most high God, the God of this Bible, is not dealing with that, sir. He's not dealing with that man. Keep in my baby. Yeah, Get up your loins. Get up your loins. You know, you know. Hey, is this Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ, you three Caucasian and all Americans, this is I got a thousand dollars if you can show me this in the Bible. Hey, if you can show me this in the Bible, we got a thousand dollars. We got a thousand dollar bet. If you can find this in the Bible, you get a thousand. You want that? Find this in the Bible. This is the scripture. Show me where it says pale face, blue eyes, streaky brown lassies. 
look at this. And he moved okay now. Hey, he saw. Show me this in the Bible. You got a scripture in your hat, too. I mean, it's a buck, man. You know, I ain't no Esau. Oh, your bell's a buck? A buck. A buck. You know, like the dominant male species of the oh, motherfucking like races. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like all the spirits that come in type shit. All right, Esau, you can just get up the street with that motherfucker. Hey, show me this in the Bible. Hey, what color are you? Hold up, boys. Everyone lock in. Hey, Esau, what You'll figure are you? it out one way or another. What color are you? Oh, fingers. See, 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 and there's a thousand people around walking, but you're looking at us. So how about you come? How about you come? Come over here. Come over here. That's the first of the three-star park for the first of the three-star. Let's take it out. Come my people. Here come my people. Hey. Oh, you too, brother. I've only seen them joints on TV. Oh, my man. Look at Baby Jack. Hmm? Baby Jack. I'm telling you, right? right. Where the Jews? Jody, Jody. You know, you. you know Jesus the Christ, the so-called black man, right? Huh? You know Jesus only loves you. He don't love everybody. Shalom, my people. Shalom, my sister. Do y'all believe in the Bible? Y'all got a few seconds? Here a few scriptures. You know it's a sin to wear pants, okay? And she got her belly button now. She's too young for that. All right? She need to put some clothes on. That's right. Okay? You dress like a princess. I ain't, I I ain't even trying for that. That's right. Okay. But what we gonna do, we gonna wind it down, brothers and sisters. We have brothers and sisters, okay? We had a strong, mighty camp, brother. Yeah, we did. Uh, this will be the woman for remembrance. They poured their alabaster on him? Oh, uh, Matthew. 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 The book of Matthew, chapter 26, and verse 7. Bring it out! There came unto him a woman having an alabaster box of very precious ointment. Right. And poured it on his head as he sat at meat. But when his disciples saw it, they had indignation, saying, To what purpose is this waste? For this ointment might have been sold for much and given to the poor. What the? What the oh, you gotta saying? repent. I don't know. I agree. Yeah, fuck Jesus, because that's not his name. Right. The letter J wasn't even created for the 15 and 1600. His name is Yahweh Shai, and he's coming to save the so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Come! That's right. Come! That's right. For this ointment might have been sold for much given to the poor. Right. But when Jesus understood it, he said unto them, Why trouble ye the woman? For she hath wrought a good work upon me. For ye have the poor always with you. That's right. But me ye have not always. For in the for in that she hath poured this ointment on my body. She did it for my burial. Right, I'll pray. Verily I say unto you, wheresoever this gospel shall be preached. Wheresoever this gospel shall be preached. In the world, in the whole world, right. there shall also this, that this woman have done be told for a memorial of her. Right, we got to give her a shout out. Yeah, I wish right. I told us to do that thing. Right. Right, right. you want to come up and wind it down, King? Yeah. 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 All praise to the most high, man. All mighty, praise. mighty brothers, man. Mighty teacher, right. man.
All right, give me the book of Psalms, chapter 133, verse 1, man. That's right. All right, let me get the book of Genesis, chapter 49, verse 1, man. All right, let me get the book of, uh, of Zephaniah, chapter 2, verse 1. We're going to end it with these three verses, man. All right? Hey, man, this is what we come out here to do. It's to wake up our people. Right? We don't give a damn about the heathens, man. Right? But of course they're going to walk by. They're going to be interested to try to see what the men of the Lord are about. Because look, hey, we the biggest threat, man, right, to America. So-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans waking up, gathering themselves together, man, and returning to who they truly are is the biggest threat to this wicked land, man. That's right. Well, Psalms 133 and 1, right? And I got... Uh, Genesis, uh, Genesis 49 and 1 and, and Zephaniah 2 and 1, right? Uh, we'll bring that last. Bring this out first. The book of Genesis, chapter 49, verse 1. Bring it out. And Jacob called unto his sons. And Jacob called unto his sons. Our forefather has called unto us, man. Right? What did he say? He said, gather yourself together. No, stay at home. Gather yourselves together. Just sit there and be lazy, man. Gather yourselves together. Hate your own people. Gather yourselves together. Go ahead. Then I may tell you and this is why we gathering together, man. We living in the last days, man. And only the people that's going to be able to understand the times that we are living in are so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. Right. When we gather ourselves together around these other wicked nations, man, we get fed lies, and then we're lost in the sauce, and we're not even ready, man, right? right. When your house side comes back. Right. Right. We got to make sure that our households are repaired and ready, man. Right. We got to have our households in order, man. Right? And that starts by separating from these wicked nations and gathering yourself together, man. This is the book of seven nine two and verse one. Bring it out. Gather yourself together. Right, so you have to double down on this thing, man. Yes, sir. Gather yourself together. Go ahead. Yay. Gather together. Oh, nation not desired. Because we are a nation that's not desired. Bro. Right? These other wicked nations don't desire the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Huh. That's why they about to celebrate Memorial Day, man. Right? So we're commanded to gather ourselves together, separate, you know what I'm saying, from wicked so-called white men like this, man. That's right? right. Because we are a nation that's not desired, man. Right. So what we not here for you. Keep it up the block, man. This is important. I, I didn't do anything wrong, did I? We just we not talk more. Just get up the block. Nosy asses, man. You gonna stop in somebody else's conversation? We weren't talking to you, man. Right? That's right. Song this is the book of Psalms, chapter 133, verse 1. Bring it out. A song of degrees of David. Uh, Psalm 133 and 1. Uh, shit. Uh, Psalm 133 and 1. Slide. 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 For the for brethren to dwell together in unity. And we over here doing a unity camp right now, man. Right? We got Lighthouse Israelites, man. Right? Thus said the Lord, man. All praising the Most High, right? Why right? we have the brother JD come down, man? You know what I'm saying? Right? All praising the Most High. We got Watchmen for Israel so y'all, man. <laughs> we got just Israel in the building, man. Right? How good and how pleasant it is for brothers to gather together in unity, man. Right. Because again, unity amongst our own people is what's going to get us up out of here. Unity amongst our own people, man, is going to speed prophecy up. The more that we start separating ourselves and start and keep hating our own people, man, prophecy going to slow down, man. Right? right? We see situations as a road that, that literally just occurred, right, over the last few days, right, dealing with brothers that do the work, man. Right? Hating one another, fighting one another. Right? And guess what, man? Right? We don't need that. That's going to slow down prophecy. Right? That should let us know that we got a lot of work to do, Israel. That should let us know, man, that, hey, this work ain't done, man. Right? right? Real quick, last one, man. Give me the book of Sirach, man. Right? Sirach, chapter 43, starting verse 30. Right? Sirach, we're going to end it with that one. Sirach 43 and 30. Right? Thus said the Lord, man. That's right. And we're going to come out here every single week, week in and week out, man. We're going to shake the hand, man, rebuke these wicked nations, and wake up our people and return them to the heritage of nationality, man. Sirach 43 and 30, man. Bring All praise to the most high. Right? What you looking at, Shrek? With them damn nasty suspenders, man. This is the book of Sirach. Go ahead. It's the book of Sirach, chapter 43 and verse 30. Bring it out. Right. When you glorify the Lord, uh -huh. exalt him as much as you can. And we're gonna exalt the most high God Yahweh. But shiv of us, y'all coming like y'all shot. As much as we can, man. Yeah. Right? Thus said the Lord. Go ahead. For even yet will he far exceed. Right, so even yet will he far exceed. So this is why we know that work is not done, right? Hey, we ain't nothing but dust and ashes. Don't get it twisted, man, right? But we're commanded to come out here, man, and do the works of the Most High God, man. Thus said the Lord, man. Go ahead. And when you exalt him. And when we what? And when, when you, you exalt, exalt him, him. Go ahead. Put forth all your strength. 
strength. No, put forth little strength. Put, put forth, forth all, all your strength. strength. And we're going to put forth all of our strength, man. Thus said the Lord, man. Go ahead. And be not weary. And be not what? And, and be, be not, not weary. weary. So the Most High is not dealing with that slothful spirit in these last days, man. You see what's going on, man. Stop just turning up, man. We got to come out here to the chief place, you know what I'm saying, of concourse, man, where our people are at, man, and bring them back to their heritage and their nationality, man. Look. And the Most High is not dealing with scared suckers out here. Bring it out, man. So if you want to be scared, man, stay your ass at home and go to church. That's right. Where, 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 where the Most High says that we the church, man, thus said the Lord. God. Right? And with that, I'm going to give a huge. Why are you swelling? Why are you swelling? Why are you swelling? Why are you swelling? Why are you swelling?